Hello. Uh, so, as you guys know, I, uh, I'm a Linux fanboy. I, I, I've been using Linux for years. Well, I decided to give this new Windows 10 thing a try, and, and wow, is this thing amazing. Uh, first off, you know, you, you get the, the image for it so you can install it, and it's, it's about 10 times the size of your average Linux distro. That just means there's got to be more features and functionality in there, which is great. And you know how Linux, uh, you know, it will take your RAM and partition it out and, and reserve space for applications to use? Windows doesn't do that at all. It just uses all your RAM. It is, it is so efficient, it doesn't let a single bit of your RAM go unused. Um, so let's 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 have a look at this real quick. Uh, let's talk about security. Open up the web browser here, and I'm going to go to gitlab.com forward slash melix1000, my bin, and I'm going to go into my C folder here, and I'm going to go to a folder where I have some compiles that I made, and I just want to show you just how secure this is, right? I am going to download this Hello World application that I wrote. I'm going to download, I'm going to save it. I'm going to view my downloads. Oh, I don't know what that is. No, let's, uh, let's open up File Browser. And I will go to Downloads. Now check this out. I wrote this application. It is a basic Hello World application compiled for Windows and... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Windows Defender removed it. See, see, Windows is so secure that it doesn't even trust applications I wrote. You know, anything I install, it just deletes it. You know, forget whether that was important or not. It decided it was going to delete it because it thought it was dangerous, even though it was a basic hello world that I wrote and compiled. If it doesn't trust what I create, then it's definitely not going to let any malicious software on the system. That is just awesome. Now. Let's go ahead. Let's try downloading it again. Save it. And here we go. Before it, oh, hmm. I was trying to get rid of it. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's look at, like, can we get into Windows Defender here? What is this? Uh, is this it here? I, hon I honestly don't know. Um, contains a virus and was deleted. What is this here? Can I hover over this? Is it waiting for something to open? Your action is in. Here we go. I, I guess I did click on it. <laughs> Security is very complicated. That's why it takes a long time. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's see details. Uh, quarantine threats. No threats, so it didn't quarantine it. I guess, I guess it just completely removed it. Uh, last scan. Uh, uh, let's see. Virus and threat protection settings. Let's manage this. Well, let's turn off real time protection. Nope. Oh. It says, Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? See? See security? but also ease of use. You don't have to, you know, remember a password to prove who you are. You can just click yes, and the computer will do what you tell it to do. How awesome is that? Now, let, let's go back to the web browser here. Let me try to download this again. Wait, turn, yeah, it's telling me to turn it on. I thought I was saying it was back on. I thought I turned it back on by itself. Save. Let's go back to our file browser. So here it is. It's not going to go away this time because I clicked a yes button. Security right there. I'm going to double click it. Let it run. Let it run. Let's see if it will run. Again, very basic console. Oh, what? Your, your Windows protection. Oh, it's, it's telling me Windows Defender is preventing an unrecognized program. Because it's not on their whitelist, it is not allowing it to run. Security. Security. Let's go more info. Oh look, I can click run anyway. Again, security, I don't even, again, it's not complicated. I don't have to type in a password. I can just click run anyway, and it will run that application eventually. Again, this is a, a hello world application, but but uh, uh, there we go. Oh, there it was, that was it, that was it. I had to open up a console, that's why it took so long. Okay, 
Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Oh, I want to show you this new functionality because I know what you're saying. Some of you Linux users out there, um, you know, there, there's features that Linux has that Windows doesn't. Well, they've added them to Windows 10. Let me go open up my file browser here. There we go, File Explorer. Let's open up another, no, open up, open up, open up. Okay, no, okay, File, Open Window, Open New Window. Okay, so this is, this is really, really cool. I'm going to go to this PC, probably, C drive, program files. Okay, now look, watch this. Because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Windows is like it used to be. I can scroll up and down. But if this window is in the foreground and I hover over here and I scroll, look, it still scrolls. It knows where my mouse is. I know, I know, right? Linux does that, Windows does now too. Also, they added in virtual desktops, supposedly. I, I'm not really sure where they are or how you access them. I uh, tried Googling it and um, it said it was supposed to be right here. Um, maybe, maybe, um, I don't know. <laughs> I also came down here to, to search for stuff and I typed in virtual and uh, it brings up virtual keyboard, does a web search, but it doesn't bring up anything about virtual desktops. Uh, so uh, it's supposed to be there. I'm sure it is there. I'm sure it is my fault that I can't find it. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up this PDF here. There we go. Open it up. Oh, put it in the background. We'll click on that for it. Open it up. 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 There we go. There we go. See? See, again. You might think, oh, this machine's running slow, but in reality, it's about security. So, it's still telling me there's a virus deleted on the, on the computer. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope you guys laughed at this, at least a little bit, because it, it's just frustrating even trying to record this. Anyway, <laughs> what is, what's with all these arrows? Does that mean that it's trying to download the images for this? I, I honestly do not know. And apparently there's an Xbox on my, on my computer. I don't know. <laughs> no. Oh, we're going on almost eight minutes here. I don't think anybody's still watching this video. 3D viewer? What is that? Now I really am just curious because I, I haven't really... Uh, looked <laughs> at this very much. 3D viewer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, it's just going to keep telling me that I've deactivated its, its protection. That's not annoying. Show welcome screen. I've, I've already lost interest in this in the time that it took to load. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great day and happy happy april's first april fool's day yep okay in all honesty it's been uh at least three minutes since i stopped recording and i clicked shut down on this machine and uh it's still uh, getting ready um when is it getting ready don't turn off your computer <laughs> in in all fairness i have had some Linux computers have trouble shutting down because of uh, processes, jobs that are running in the background, but at least it tells me uh, that that's the issue. Um, where this is just getting Windows ready? Getting ready to do what? To shut down? Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just uh, leave you guys, let you watch this. Again, we're, we're probably four minutes into this uh, shutdown screen now. Enjoy. This is real. I'm not looping this. This is actually the machine shutting down.
Oh, oh, it's working on updates now. Convenient. Very, very convenient that it waited till I was ready to shut down the machine to do updates. But at least I have an explanation now on what's going on. I don't know what was happening before, uh, it, but it's working on updates. I didn't ask it to update. Um, but I guess, I guess, uh, I guess you guys get the point. Uh, I'm just expecting it for it to pop up another thing to tell me my, my system's not secure because I unchecked that box that it let me uncheck. Um, yeah. Well, it got to thirty percent pretty quick. It must, it must like the number thirty. Hmm. I should really just turn off the computer. Oh, oh, thirty percent. Now it's shutting down. Did it finish the updates, or is it going to update them later? But at least now we're out. Oh, there we go. Hmm. 